everybody and welcome back so today i've just received my pager lift box this is the may box and we are going to do a little unboxing today so let's get it on so if you guys are new to these book subscription box so pager lift a book subscription box which is basically focused on young adult fantasy genre so if you're into that they are a good subscription box for you so basically these monthly subscription boxes contain around five to six items which is related to a certain team for that certain month So, here we have the monthly art print, and at the back, of course, this doubles as the spoiler card. So, the team for May 2020 is Desert Dreams. Alright, so let's see what's in it. The first item we have in this box is this bookish tin, which is designed by Chati Nora. And it is inspired by We Hunt the Flame. So it's this one. Apparently mine is dented. I don't know if it, if they sent me a dented one or it became dented upon shipping. Because this actually went through customs and it got inspected. So maybe that's why the usual purple paper thingies inside are not here and what we have are these ones okay so this is a bummer because this is a really good looking bookish item so here we have a quote right here it says here that i'm just going to try there it says here that we haunt the flame the light in the darkness the good this world deserves let's open it up See how dented it is? I'm going to try to push it back so that it's not as dented as. Yeah, so I was able to push it back a bit. So this tin is actually pretty cute. It has this inside cover. I think this is going to be good for for teas like blue tea leaves if you have any I think you can keep it here and so at the bottom it has a design it looks like this okay so next item we have is the bookish wooden spoon so this is done or designed, the engravings is designed by KDP Letters and it features a quote from Hero of the Fall. Oh my god, this is so pretty! I was really opting to get new wooden spoons that I can use for the kitchen and this is very timely. I'm just not sure if I do want to use it because it's going to be a bummer to stain this beautiful engravings. But it says here that there's no such thing as just a story. This is really pretty and I think this is going to be the favorite item for this box. Okay, the next one we have is this tea towel. So this tea towel is designed by Evie Bookish and it is inspired by the City of Brass. So the first tea towel I got from Trader Loot was kind of plain. It's, it's the 
it is kind of plain it's in nude in color and it just have this had this beautiful coat but this is something different as you can see the design is really there it's like the whole towel is covered in the sun which i like so here we have the quote that says often the mightiest things have the humblest beginnings this is so pretty so basically you can either use this in the kitchen or you can probably hang it somewhere okay and then next we have is this one so this one is magic desert sand so this is desert bath salts and these are done by little hearts gift so so it's sandalwood scent there oh. i'd want to open and smell it but since i don't have anything or anywhere else to use it i'm just going to keep it sealed but this is really good so basically i do not have a bottle which i can use but it says here in the spoiler card that no worries if you do not have a bathtub you can use this for a foot soap so i will probably do that okay so next item is this this one so this is the tribal desert candle which is inspired by an ember in the ashes and these are from Weekend Fable. Okay, let's just hold my camera. Focuses on it. Okay, so it says here, let's see what scent they got so there isn't any label on there isn't any label on what scent it is so let's just open it up and look at this name. oh it's really has that cottony scent with a hint of vanilla i think and i, I actually like the scent it doesn't smell like what I would expect for a tribal desert candle, but this is going to be a good scented candle. A good scented candle that you want to use when you're going to where when you're nearly going to sleep. So it's a good one for the bedroom. Then the next we have is this one. So, so it, this is a sunglass pouch, which is inspired by the Forbidden Wish, and it's designed by Kidster Kronk. So it's very light. It's a mini drawstring. So I think you can use it also for other things aside from sunglasses but of course it has a quote it's a, it says here that you can choose what happens to you but you can choose who you become because of it and it's back to back right, let's see what else we have of course the monthly tarot cards which is done by gabriella bedoso and we have here that Three and Four of Cups, which is inspired by, of course, Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. Alright, and then heading on to this favorite pouch. So, 
so we have here the art print which correlates with the book of the month and of course the letter from the author so i will just try and hold it right in place so you can so you guys can actually pause it and read through the letter from the author if you are interested and do we have of course we have the fairy scoop which has the date for the photo challenge and of course the next box which is the june box would be team but different kind of magic and yes the fairy scoop has a lot of information regarding the book so let's just browse quickly through and see if this book is going to be a standalone or it's a part of a series okay so i think that this book is going to be a standalone as the author is as the author's next book is going to be a different tale and i'm not sure if it's related to this one also we have is this monthly bookmark which is a tiny tiny version of the monthly art print and then for the book of the month it's girl serpent torn by melissa bashardost of course it came with this beautiful olive sprayed edges And yes, this embossing feels really nice. So you, I just want you guys, I just want to let you guys know that it really feels very, very nice. And of course, at the reverse side of the dust jacket, we have the art print. And it's really pretty. Oh, you like that it's really pretty and the color combinations are mesmerizing so let's just put this back right here and of course let's see if it came yep it came signed by the other oh so it's like it's sort of like frozen like Elsa is cursed to have the power of ice and all that but this one it's like she has a brother who's going to be it's going to be but this one is kind of different it's instead of ice you have poison touch and she has a twin brother so yeah this is really interesting so i feel like i want to read it already but i still have a list to go through so it will happen okay so let's just do a quick recap on the stops that we have that we have received from Fairylet so of course we have the bookish tin which is a favorite it it's dented but that's okay we still like it it's still good for tears and then of course we have the bookish wooden spoon which is a favorite as well the next we have this tribal desert candle which is really good for the bedroom and then we have the bath salts also we have the sun dress pouch and then we have the cookish tea towel which is really designed marvelously 
it's really good. The design is really good. It's really different from the previous Titala that I got. It's a level. It's like a step above the tea towel before so this one is really good and then yes we have the monty tire cards of course the letter from the author the fairy school the monthly bookmark and of course the book of the month which is girl serpent so, so that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video as much as I did enjoy it as well so there are a few stuffs in this box that I really like including this video and the tin and the bookish, bookish tin so if you guys have any suggestions, comments or even violent reactions just leave them down at the comments and if you do like this video, please hit the thumbs up or the heart button as well as don't forget to subscribe and follow. So thank you everybody for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!